testimony she wants to give, and she started telling me this testimony out in the kitchen, and I just stopped her dead flat, and I said, don't talk no more, because she wasn't sure when she wanted to give it, and when she said a couple of things, I, I said, stop right there, don't tell me no more, I just want you to share this tonight. I think, I think every young person and every old person really needs to hear what she has to say, and so I'm just going to ask her to just share your heart. Yeah. Turn the house lights up just a little bit so yeah. we can see her on the camera a little bit. Well, hi, everybody. My name is Jessica Ann. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Um, well, Matt's my friend. And he's actually the one that invited me here, him and Jeremy. And I'm really happy to be here. You guys are very, very nice. But I don't know how to start this off, so I guess I'll just go. Well, I'm not going to say I've had the easiest life. And then again, I'm not going to say I had the worst. Yes, I've had family and I've had people that love me, but a lot of my family left me. Like my Nana or my mother's side and my father's side. So I was just left with my mom and my brother. I'm very grateful for them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm very grateful for them. But just recently, like, I've accepted Jesus last week. Mm. And, but not till recently did I really understand. First, I, yes, I grew up in a house that, had, that my mom is a Baptist. She, she talked about God. She told me stories about God, and I love the stories. But I never really believed till just recently. Thanks, just thanks to Matt. Well, I was bullied a lot at school, so bad to the point that I wanted to kill myself, and I planned on it. I honestly did. I'm not proud to say that I was, but I did. It was so bad that I wanted to. And I had a friend spend the night that night, and it, then everything was, everything went horrible. Everything. So bad to the point where I was like, okay, since, and I decided right then and there, maybe it's my time to go. Maybe, maybe I'm not meant to be here. Maybe I just can't handle it. So I told her, I was like, Bailey, who's my friend, we're going to have a great night. I wanted her to be happy that night. I didn't want her to know anything that I was planning on doing or anything. So we go to this football game. We have fun, and then I decide, okay, I need to leave. So I'm making my way. I'm walking fast, I'm crying, I'm shaking. Everybody's trying to ask me if I'm okay, and I just kind of blow them up. And then I bump into this, bump into him. I bump into Matt. Everybody's trying to ask me if I'm okay, and I'm like, yes, I'm doing fine. But when I get to Matt, I just freeze. I couldn't lie to him. But all I asked him, I was like, can you pray with me? And we prayed. And I told him what I was planning on doing. I don't know why. Honestly, don't. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't lie to him. And I'm okay. I'm doing okay. And that night when I went home, I got a message from Matt saying, if you ever need anybody, I'm right here. Well, that meant a lot. So we hang out sometimes. And then I asked him, I asked him about it. I, I asked him about that night. And he was like, Jess, well, that, that hit me pretty hard. It was very powerful. And I said, well, what do you mean? He said, I wasn't supposed to be there that night at all. I, I was supposed to go to a concert in Atlanta with his friend Noah. That, so, and, but Noah got sick. <coughs> Noah got sick. And then he planned on hanging out with his other friend Stephen. And that fell through too. And then he was invited to the football game, which he didn't think he was going to go to. But he prayed and prayed, and he decided to go to a football game. And not even a second later, 
After he walked into the gates of the football game, I walked up to him and asked him to pray. So I want to thank Matt. One second early, one second too late, we would have missed each other. Now I wouldn't be here today. And here I am.